Well, 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 hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Hope you're having a happy new year already. I mean, it's only what, what we got, uh, five days in. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, welcome to 2024 and welcome back to the channel. I can finally play a game on screen again. I can't, uh, Alan Wake 2 and my face cam just don't go hand in hand, but, um, uh, keeping in that same uh, vein of video game, we're going to the shared universe of Control. I played this a few videos on this uh, on the channel way back whenever I first started recording, but I wanted to kind of refresh my mem my memory alongside Alan Wake 2 while I'm playing that. Um, so I'm going to take a take a little step away from Alan Wake 2 for a little bit and put up a few Control videos, and I'm going to be going through like every little piece of paper that I can find this that and the other because i want to kind of dive deep into the world that i didn't i didn't uh, really dive deep into before also uh i want to kind of uh you know pay some respect to james the voice actor for trench um also casey and alan wake too and max Payne, probably the biggest one you know uh the max Payne uh, passed away in 2023 uh, of cancer and that's unfortunate. He's, uh, I don't know if he realizes just how big of an impact he had uh, on me as a, you know, young teenager while playing Max Payne and just experiencing something that was entirely mind blowing to me at that young age and uh, him being a part of these Remedy games in general, because I do believe that Remedy is probably taking the top spot for my favorite developer. Um, their games are just so unique and they're few and far between. So. Control is an absolutely incredible setting, and I'll dive deeper into that as we go along. But I just wanted to say, rest in peace, James. You made a huge impact on the industry in general, and uh, in my life as a as a video game enjoyer. And uh, I'm glad that his voice is immortalized in these games. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to, to hear those for years to come. So anyway, without further ado, and without any further preamble from yours truly... This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. Let Jessie do her thing. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? 
Well, 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 we back. Anyone here? Hello again, Jesse. It's been a while. Federal Bureau of Control. I love this place. I love the setting. It's so cool. <laughs> Very x files -y. Which, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this kind of thing anyway. Um, let's see. And I, I want to know... Oh. Hey, it's James. How's it going, man? I feel like this picture's gonna move. Maybe it's because it's, like, an actual photo and the, you know, the rest of the world is computer generated. It just looks like it'll, <laughs> it'll jump out at you. I want to know more about Ati as well, because there's something going on with that guy. He's not just a normal janitor. Here we go, our first little piece of lore. Prohibited items reminder. Reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils, for whatever reason. Any objects considered iconic representations of archetypal concept. E.g. rubber ducks and ketchup bottles. How are those representations of archetypal concept? All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see a lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Will do. Who is my supervisor? Trench? Internal lockdown and effect building lockdown. These screens, multiple containment breaches detected, building shifts. Okay. Oh, look. The pack of cigarettes. So this is like... <laughs> the screens and things like that remind me... Uh, that little control center at the beginning of Alan Wake in the forest when that, that uh, activity is happening. And then there's a pack of these Black Pyramid cigarettes on the desk in the, uh, in the building where the talk show was. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I want to know more about Ati. He's, there's something going on with that guy. Something extra going on with that guy. Oh. Let's see. More lore. Expenditure summary. Major staffing surveillance redacted. Data center initiative. Construction redacted. Redacted. Minor. Office equipment. Janitorial costs redacted. Mold removal. HQ, HQ livability costs. Okay. I don't know why that's important. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. It's almost like she was about to say something else, but they cut her off for some reason. I love the aesthetic of this, though. I mean, I'm, uh, <laughs> Remedy is has such style. It's it's really really awesome. Hello, Doctor Asper, darling, head of research. Seeing you, uh, little glimpses of you and Alan Wake too, as well. Artie, naturally, our bureau at work. But I wonder, like, what is he? And there's the, the man himself, Director Zachariah Trench, James. He used his likeness for this one, which is cool. Yeah, we got to go party, Jesse? No? You have to relieve yourself? But, uh, Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. This has to be one of the coolest games to come out in the last fucking 10 years, though. Just super uh, original, and uh, you gotta love telekinesis powers. It's like one of my favorite power sets ever. Just being able to pick something up and launch it with your mind. It's super cool. Uh, and everything, like, laid out. I mean, it just screams government building, you know what I mean? Even though... Uh, security order. Attention all. That's a lot of redacted. A shark in his redacted. Although secure redacted. Permission to redacted. Following basic protocol redacted. Shoot to kill redacted. <laughs> okay. Attention all redacted. That's a lot of redacted. A lot of black bars. That's fine. Someone used a lot of Sharpie. Oh. Hey, look. There's the man. There's the... There's the... There's the... Uh, friendly face. R4. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request rform.e from your supervisor. 
If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland as needed. They'll be uh, busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind whenever filing for the R4, or whatever the fuck that is, right? Federal Bureau Hello? of Control. Hey, Ati. I'll, I'll be with you in just a moment, my guy. I'm curious to see what uh, what parallels there are between Ati here and... Oh, shit. The building shifted. I can't go back. Oh, well, they did say something about building shifts. It's like the damn staircase in Hogwarts. Hey! Hey, excuse me. I can't walk. There's no walk animation, so I'll just run everywhere. Hey, Ati, how's it going, pal? There you are. You are here about the job. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yes, precisely. Go to the interview. That way to the elevator. Get an interesting yes. voice. I'm guessing Ati's yeah, Swedish as well. Got it. Very good. I'm Ati, the janitor, by the way. Mm. Really? You work for me. You can say I sent you. Say I sent you. They don't hire you. You are no hell of it. Oi. Let me work for the axe. Take them behind the sound that you hold. <laughs> Okay. I've done enough I definitely owner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Hey. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said. Oh boy, heard my thoughts. Thinking? If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Yeah, I definitely recognize that Helvetti. That's Swedish. Or at least in that general vicinity of the world. Okay, all right, Ati. Hey, man, it's, it's good to see you again. You yeah, know, I uh, I appreciate the hard work. Very, oh, oh, yeah, okay. So it's just, pro it's so trippy. Okay. Up to the elevator. Very cool. Oh, hey, I've got my, uh, my workstation ready and everything. Thanks, Ati, appreciate it. The cell and the poster. Prison movie. Was she actually talking old, about the cell? Saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. Hmm. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Oh man, the aesthetic is just incredible. They really, uh, really know what they're doing in that department as well. I'm curious. I love this kind of thing because I, I recently read a, um, a comic series called The Department of Truth. And it's very reminiscent of this kind of idea. This sort of collective unconscious, like, people um, sort of manifesting things into the world egregores and tulpas and things like that and uh just very cool all around i love this this style and i'm wondering if control inspired the department of truth or if the things that just inspired control inspired the department of truth wow look at that visual style man Could i lose you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Hi, Trench. Look like a judge. Um, yeah, it's just, I forgot how fucking cool this game looks. Just pleasing to look at. There's just something about it, man. Well, that's not a good sound. Multiple breaches, the same stuff on the screen. That's... And trenches everywhere. It's gonna drive me bonkers. 
approved terminology reminder reminder redrafting any public facing material while pinning any notifications of death related to the willow awe please adhere to the following guidelines words phrase to use in the service of his her country regret proud pride will be remembered word phrases to avoid alaska scissors blood bleed laws apologies sorry the willow awe something must have taken place in alaska with a pair of scissors <laughs> i guess economy the retirement issue the oldest man in the world it's like some of them are actual photographs and others are paintings like that looks more like a painting gets harder to see from a distance kind of muddy but it's okay okay all right uh nothing in here okay Ooh, a file confidential I expect you'll probably find a lot of those in this kind of place. We got a pneumatic tube system. I feel like on the set. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one, Trench. Okay. Can't trust whom, Trench? Mind if I jump over your tables? I'm gonna mute the copyrighted music. Not that it's gonna like be some kind of big hit to my channel or anything like that because I'm not monetized, but I don't want to run the risk of being muted during specific areas. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot about that. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Well, that's gonna be your yeah, 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 you're gonna be packing some heat here. Good lord. Is that really track? Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake? <laughs> she lifted up her arm like she had a gun in her hand already when I zoomed in. More cigarettes. Okay, alright, well, hey, excuse me, Trench. I'm sorry, buddy. Go ahead and pick up the... The gun. We are broadcasting from the pyramid. Other... Only the director can wield. The gun sword intentionally left blank. Their application will be processed. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime power. candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. The surface weapon and live slash die. This is your ritual slash challenge. You must choose to be the chosen one. Look at this place. All right. Where am I? I will choose to be the chosen one. Man, that's some crazy looking shit. Bubblegum. Polaroid. All, oh, none of the above. These are the concepts, tattoos we see in your minds. The service weapon. It has many forms, like the house, prison you occupy. Shit's crazy looking. Like, uh, Let me figure out what the Black Pyramid is. The board, or whatever they call themselves. Yeah, your basic jump and grip. Hi! Hello, how's it going? You're an interesting looking feller. I just may give you a smack. The same gun. Yep, yeah, well, I'll control the gun slash house. Super cool. Even though I suck at shooting in these things, but you know. Yeah. Okay. Now I have a gun. We'll get it. It'll be fine. Hi. See? Already missed. I don't feel like I should have missed that one. Eh, a few shots. Some of it, I don't feel like I should have missed. Yeah, it regenerates ammunitions automatically. 
Cool. All right, Jesse. I guess we gotta we gotta sh shoot some more guys. Ooh. I'll just punch you and then finish you off because uh, I'm bad at this. <laughs> Bill's not really packing a punch. <laughs> Bro, don't have a neck. Look like Big Ed. All right. Oh shit. What are you sh See, I'm not making contact even though the reticle is orange. Sometimes it feels like I have to overcompensate a little bit. Does they drop health? Yes, they do. Indeed. Oh. Right. I'll have to go back. Very well. You, we wield the gun slash you. The board appoints you. Congratulations, Director. Uh, let's hear the voice, man. There it is. Man, it sucks that he's gone. A lot of nostalgia in that voice. The pyramids talking to me and through the gun. Noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. Something like that. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Whoop. Well, I'm happy if you're happy, Jesse. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Who's that? Who's he shaking hands with? I don't recognize this person. Are they supposed to be recognizable? Kind of looks like Michael C. Hall. Oh, that's him. Oh, it's just him. Okay, just young him. Getting medals and... Oh, wait. That's me. That's Jesse. That must be him holding his baby whenever he was young. Well, that's sad. All right. Well, Jesse, looks like you are the director. Oh, shit. God damn, that's so cool looking. Holy fuck. All right, well, central executive. I guess we're going towards the scary. You can't let this happen. 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 That one. Uh, that's the fucking thing in the house trying to... Sh that's when they, they tried to, tried to take her over, I guess. Okay. Hey! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Give me a second while I replenish this, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I suck. <laughs> Pay no attention. I, I... They're not, like super aggressive or anything. This guard. Bureau's many internal security personnel. His was quick to take advantage of this fact. Standard issue bullpup rifles. They have no observed paranatural abilities. Does the Hiss have a level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they're best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupt individuals retain knowledge of their use of the weapons. Refer to file such and such for full report. So much is expected from the director of the responsibility of the privilege. Zachariah Trinch. Case files. Service weapon. Oh, okay. Object of power 1-KE. No, no, no unique procedures required for containment. Description. This object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows pair utilitarians to blank. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of the director, I guess. This object will determine whether uh, redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the board, I'm guessing, They're through their uh, though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, and the room that is now used as the director's office, a popular hypothesis, redacted many forms throughout history. Redacted. 
Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varunastra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redacted. The collective subconscious. Yeah, see, this, so they, they deal with that. It deals with that type of shit, too, which is... Whenever you start getting into those rabbit holes, the collective unconscious and things like that, it's things start getting wacky. But they're bet. Oh yeah, hey. Oh. I don't remember taking this photo. Very nice though. The oldest house discovered August fourth, nineteen sixty-four. Isn't this in New York? How did they just discover this big ass building without anyone ever noticing it before? Unless it's like, there's probably an explanation. It like must not make itself known until it, oh, wants to be known. The hotline. Okay, Trench, I will do my, oh, my best. Oh, shit. Some of those shots should not be misses. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it. Cinematic! Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I miss all my shots. I'm like a damn stormtrooper. I like that cinematic shit though. You're just kind of running gun. This has got to be painful to watch. <laughs> I'm so, so bad. See, it's orange, but they're not being hit. Okay, well, we got him that time. I do love that, though. That's cool. Run along the glass. Shooting through it. Ah! <laughs> Action hero, man. I'm fucking badass. I'm the fucking director. Jesse fucking Faden, you may call me. Director. Oh. Oh yeah, building shift. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Okay. Carry the okay. altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, okay. wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then, reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Just disintegrate the table. Well, the building shifted on me whenever I first got into it. So, that's a thing. Is there anything in the in the pissa? Well, nope. Someone left their newspaper. Should get to have some reading materials, and there's no shampoo bottles, and there's no smartphones allowed, so... Executive whoop, meeting minutes. Agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. Update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thanks for your time. That's a lot of papers. Okay. So the Hiss tried to invade Jesse. That's what that whole live action scene was about. The red scene. But she's able to push it out. Is there anything I'm missing here? There's building shifts. Are there more to these? 11.1. I think one of the things said seek 11.1. Can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events. Intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now. That dude looks so nervous. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Mm -hmm. All right, so we saw this little clip, but it's a little different. Contained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fine. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Thanks, darling. I appreciate it, darling. What's that little key you got there? Is that part of the service weapon? Okay, well that's cool. It's a little different. 
Nothing else? No. Okay. Yeah, I wanna I wanna like check all this stuff as it comes. I wanna know everything about this world and what they uh what the um parallels to Alan Wake two are and like how they you know tie it together. I'm you know I mean I know that all these things are considered objects of power in Alan Wake, probably like the lamp. And just the uh, events taking place in general, you know, the dead coming from the other side and those um, overlaps and stuff. Dinner reservations. Chez Ombre at 7 p.m. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready at Jalabra reception. She is turning 46, remember. Who's that a reminder for? Was that for Shrinch? Wifey's turning 46. A nice age. A very nice age. <laughs> Eh. Eh. Okay. Well, that one's a sturdy desk. That one, not so much. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this shit. All these people just floating around here, like, taken by the hiss. Shit is so fucking cool looking. It's fucking disturbing as shit, though. There's, like, a little, uh, safe rooms for saving, I guess. Hello, guy. You have a tummy ache? Look like you're holding your tummy. Ooh. That's like very reminiscent of the chests and Star Wars Jedi whatever. Survivor. No, that was the uh, the one before that. I haven't played Survivor, which I need to do that. Maybe I'll play that on the channel. I like mixing things up. Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWA in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this. And the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real thing. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next on the list. Let's hope it's a little, a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Well, Keenum, is it you? Are you Keenum? Buddy, you should have stayed in wherever the fuck Sherman Ranch. Hi, Linda. How you doing? Just pondering the ceiling. What happens if I... They get all wispy. <laughs> or they just vanish into thin air. Sorry about that. Just fucking killing some random dude. But like, is there anything I'm missing in here? This is going to be like a lore run of the game, so if you're not into that kind of thing, I, I do apologize, but I'm just putting this up for the funsies of it anyway because I wanted a, I wanted an excuse to play Control again and record it, so here we are. All right. Maybe not. All right, let's go this way. I just like to check the desks. You never know, you know? Oh, Central Executive. Such cool, like, s screens. A hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Yeah. The hiss. The hiss. Into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Who's she talking? I can't remember who she's talking to again. Is it her brother? Contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Yeah, that's a lot of talking. Make you actually feel like you're going insane. I need to play the DLCs for this game as well. I don't know if they're story heavy or not. What is that? Oh, it's just a radio. Oh, I guess it's not playing anything because I have the uh, copyright music turned off. Hopefully it's not a whole lot of music that's copywritten. I think they found a workaround for that for Alan Wake 2, so... How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control. Established in 1964 as part of the an effort to strengthen government relations. We're proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. And if they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York or just visiting? How'd you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office that they'll need to leave. If their answers are seem blank, escort them to a private room. 
there, perform the Gunnar's Psychological Assessment. If the responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Okay. I need a drink. I'll be back. That's better. All right. Let's go around. This is creepy as hell. Uh, let's see. Urban Legends. Examination of Paranatural Topics. Summary. Urban Legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials. They can also dictate the characteristics <coughs> excuse me, of an altered world event. Urban Legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. Oh, yeah, so now we're getting into Jungian archetypes and, and Jungian psychology and things like that. It's very interesting because a lot of this topic has to do with uh, Carl Jung's um, writings and things like that, which is a whole other thing, but I'm very into that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, but this is not the time or place. I could go into that for way too long. Um, but Jungian archetypes are definitely interesting and see this is where they're getting into this kind of thing um urban legends affect creation of altered materials basically creating an egregore or tulpa of specific things we recognize that certain redacted informed by our own redacted and popularized by our media we have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted our bureau made anthology television program Okay, so they're, it looks like, it's like they're, it sounds like the FBC is trying to manifest uh, urban legend tulpas or egregores by placing that kind of thing in people's, planting that stuff in people's subconscious, the collective subconscious uh, via some kind of television program, Bureau Made Anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination, imagination exacerbates the details and basically puts it out into the world, which is very interesting, um, a, a very interesting uh, theory um, that has some truth to it, which is kind of gnarly when you think about it. And certain, certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized, popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on redacted, a pair of scissors that consume human redacted through two punctures on the blank i'm guessing blood on the neck these details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief exactly that's exactly what I'm, I, this shit is wild and the government has actually like looked into this kind of shit i mean if you just look at some of the some of the programs that they've looked into that makes you that makes you really really start to ponder this stuff and wonder if there's some kind of truth to it the world is not as mundane as we think it is, and people, we as human beings, have more power than we actually realize or think that we do. We've been led to believe other, believe otherwise, or else, you know, they would lose control. Now I'm starting to sound like a fucking crazy conspiracy theorist under a bare light bulb in a basement. <laughs> Living in the minds of so many have been given strength to their belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranormal realities waiting to happen. It's really cool that Sam Lakin, the team at Remedy, really kind of look into this stuff, regardless of what they believe about it. It does make for a very cool fucking narrative, regardless of what you believe about it. Really makes for a very cool narrative. I happen to believe that it's entirely possible. I've already been in this office. Because I've seen things that I can't explain and heard things that I can't explain. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. that. What the fuck? Why is it so fucking dark? What the fuck is happening? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Hi. I can't see a fucking thing. Is this supposed to happen? I don't remember this happening. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Take two, I guess. Talk I talked too much. I got too close to the truth. Earlier. Didn't like us talking about it. Yes. Burrowing into it. Everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. All right, let's see if they, we can keep this contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that breaks over and over. Is 
just jump right back in to keep that from happening again. I think it was that wispy effect that just, for some reason, overtook the screen. Alright, I've just gotta shoot slow. I don't have any of my damn superpowers, so I have to rely on this gun a lot. Eh, eh. Alright, buddy. I'm just gonna go behind the bricks. I guess in those, like, red spots are weak points. Yeah, let, let's cleanse it before the... Oh, hey, I didn't realize the pyramid's just hanging out. Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. That means cleanse it. Let's do that before the powers that be decide to black out our screen again. That was, that was wild. It was so, like, thematic, it almost felt like it should be a thing in the game, but it's definitely not a thing. Hey, we did it. the central hub, the main. Hi, I can. Are you with us? Outfits. The Don't hero. have any more outfits. Okay. Are you still sane? I think so. Maybe. Can't say much for uh, um, Miss uh, whatever her name Please is here. Talk to me. It's creepy. <laughs> Agents. Here's another one. Yes. Okay, I'm coming. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. <laughs> I should have lied. Oh, shit. They definitely You're knew. The director. Shit. We're coming out. <laughs> they definitely gotta know, yeah, for sure. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. Hi, Pope. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss that works? Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yeah, I guess so. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. Like Remedy's always Remedy. pushing the boundaries the of uh, pushing the suicide. pushing the envelope of the service weapon, graphical also, fidelity, and things like that as well, and, and facial crazy. animations and stuff. But he keeps appearing to me for a game that came back out uh, back, you know. Things? What? How many years has this been out? out? I don't remember the exact me to date. Cleanse the control point? That's a cool fucking shot. Push the hiss out. Thumbnail. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. Auntie. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even Ugh, look. Forgot Jesse, those things like I nullify the his that she's wearing, but that's another thing. More. Is that Auntie's not wearing him well, one of those I things? Know my brother Dylan. What is going on with that dude? Why is he in Alan Week? But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point. Damn, that's such a cool then you shot. Maybe cure those infected oh, shit. or possessed by the hiss, because if that's possible. Our options are very different. Emily Pope. Okay. I don't know her, but I like her already. 
I shall try and of the faceless exercise the, the demons. <laughs> but I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. But... I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. It's hard to trust any of these three-letter okay. organizations, you know what I mean? You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. God, this is so cool looking. Damn. I would even go as far as saying that it's just more stylistically uh, pleasing to look at than Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2 looks fucking awesome. It's, you know, pretty groundbreaking the way it looks. Like, can't even run the fucking thing properly. So, but... As far as style goes, oh hey, Miss uh, Miss Dead Eyes. I guess we're gonna try and exercise these demons. <laughs> if it's a parasite, it's probably our, you know, kind of like a parasite. It's already fucking interwoven with her, uh, with this person's being. Yeah, they just. Blow away like fart in the wind. Ripping it out rips them apart. Well, I mean, that's unfortunate. That's so. That means all these fucking guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hang on, I got, I got collectibles to look at. Hang on, just a sec. Oh yeah, personal mods, health boost by seventeen percent. Sure, throw that on there. No weapon mods yet. Assets. Uh, this is stuff to. Craft research and records. His manifest in a human host in numerous rays. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. The his agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or they are, or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Fertifile redacted. Oh, everything's fucking redacted. All right. Pope, why are you shining? What's going on here? You're like a little fairy on your sh shoulder. Boy, this guy looks like he's... <laughs> he's one of them. He's just fucking pretending. Actually, let me go in here real quick. Let me go in here. Shelter. Get the... Uh... Is there a goodie box in here? No, but there's a lore box. Oh, and a shitter. Could you imagine being stuck in this thing? For like however long it takes for some kind of lockdown to end. You get fucking Jerry, Bob, fucking Linda, and Sally all sharing one fucking toilet in this wide open space. They couldn't even fucking put up a partition right here to kind of like, you know, block you from doing your fucking thing. Man. <laughs> Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the blank arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience unforeseen building shifts. Discovered by blank detection of an unobstructed ping using blank within a 37-foot radius, numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or blank or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence. Allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. Refer to file such and such for full report. Yeah, well, Linda, it's gonna be a doozy. I had the fucking Indian food last night, so uh, you might want to sit on that corner over there. You know, just to stay, stay way over there. Maybe breathe some of this in, whatever the fuck that is. Maybe you could crack it open a little bit, let it fill the room. Uh, are these massive vents? I don't know, maybe there's a way of getting the stench out. Alright. Pope, what you got for us? I can't 
Cleanse them. I saw. Yeah, she did. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. As they do. Bureaus. For a long time. Some fucking... That's enough. Stranger Things shit. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. Altered world event and Ordinary, yeah. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time... Well, yeah, you are like the same age. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. Unless you're my like... My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but... Casper Darling. Missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. My darling he boy. came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. The hotline. And I know when that hotline blank. It's another object of power, like the gun. It really is, like, what, 2017, 2016? A direct <laughs> line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. Who's the mailroom? We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not that's wearing That's not good. Oh, that's a f floaty he guy, I think. Out. If I remember right from playing this a long ass time ago. But that's not me. I'm it not is now. Type. You I'm are now. Sure. Sorry, oh. Jesse, but you is now. Why am I here? To find your I brother? Think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. Mm -hmm. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Uh, what scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Looking Little Mermaid shit. Only to see the hiss. She is a redhead. Yeah, you finally find the place. You get in and a fucking breach. <laughs> the largest breach the Bureau's probably ever seen is taking place. What fortuitous luck. The old red phones. Those are, that's so cool. Very cool. I know this hmm. is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid color. questions. Very the well. The department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thank you, Pope. Th let me uh, take a look here. I got another personal mod. Health recovery per element pickup. I'll just keep my boost for now. Unknown caller. Portrait of Zachariah Trench. Another one. The only person you should fail is yourself. Okay. Thanks, Emily. Appreciate it, Em. What you got for me, M and M? The hotline should be in the communications department. Okay. Uh, look, we got some stuff to ask. Where did the hiss come from? This is a lore run. I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came, came from in? somewhere in this fucking place? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. 
I don't even know where to start looking. Like an overlap? But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss yeah, to Yeah, can you it. imagine? Jesus. With you on that, Emily. All I would have to do is find like a fucking... There's got to be an, uh, some kind of door to the outside world in the fucking bureau. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. Yes, it does. I've been to New York a few times. That's my question. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. Okay. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't an have a So unless you're purposely trying figured. to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do it's like here the room of is requirement. essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without mm -hmm. you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. The thing in my head, my background, it's speaking to me as we speak. It's saying that uh, I really suck at video games. And I should probably think of... Uh, other ways to pass the time. This trash which I've, guy. I've been doing. I keep hearing him in my head. <laughs> I haven't been on a, a game a in a long time. Taunting me? Oh, it's. I told you it's talking to me. It went to desktop. I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. Where's the? I don't have the bullet. It. <laughs> but He's just communicating to that, from bullet to gun. I think I will. Yeah. I at least want to get the fucking telekinesis power before I stop the video. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> don't worry. I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> she Got was it. waiting for that question to be answered. Thanks. She does the anime glasses push up and fucking just lets it rip. All right, last so one. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Just like a shield, basically. Doesn't the timing <clears throat> seem suspicious? I thought that too. Yeah. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his Darling and develops a big HRA to keep things out These and then the hiss just happens to fucking yeah, His behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. All right, well, appreciate the info. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Normally people with your haircut aren't the best people in the world, but you're not too bad there, Pope. I appreciate it. All right. Let's be on our way. Oh, hi. There it is again. <clears throat> our welcome message. Ooh. Pop. Goes the weasel. House memory. How you doing up there? Doing all right? You want to get down? Can I... Oh, I don't have access to this. What's in here? Oh, a little goodie box, okay. And this is hawked shut. Oh, yep, that's Tomasi. Well, he did. I hate how the subtitles keep popping in and out. I want to. Oh, hey! I want to know what he's saying. Oh, hi! You did, okay. Okay. Well, that was easy enough.
wonder if you're speaking gibberish or if it's like an actual hiss. Travel costs, visiting the following Nevada Accommodations, Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge, Accommodation, Meals, Gasoline, Minibar. Wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. What kind of ritual do you have to perform? Interesting. I don't think whiskey is going to do it for you, but, you know, teach their own. Ooh, red light. Oh! 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 It's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. Yeah, I guess, uh, never mind. <laughs> Can't go in there. At least there's some healthy orbs just lying around you. Alright. Hey, it's me. I don't remember wearing that suit, but, uh, looking good, Jesse. Whee! Oh, more friends to play with. Hey, boys. How you doing? Yeah, I guess those are weak points. Oh! Hit your weak point. You're somewhere in the general vicinity. Oh! Of your weak point. Okay. I've noticed a lot of that effect floating around in Alan Wake as well. Which is interesting. At one point, I thought he was in the fucking bureau. This just reminded me a lot of it, and Ati just happened to be there. Yeah, I know. Something going on with that guy. Oh! Bathroom reading. Please be aware. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart green, stable yellow, low possibility of unanticipated blah, 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 building shifts. Or in high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts in red, a frequent and unanticipated building shift. Those damn building shifts while I'm taking a building shit are very fucking unfortunate. Ooh. Something going on in there? Event summary. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the maj major majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Blank deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event Response Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported, though, uh, through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been blank. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for blank minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was co cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After formula... I.9 was recited in the vicinity. A single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. Okay. Cowboy boots. There is something wrong with this shelter. Okay. Okay, buddy. I'm just gonna go this way. Your babbling is fucking dead letters. Damn. That's so cool looking. What happened to the letters? Dead letters. Department. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail would provide an extremely handy a database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranormal world. The letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal events, but even the erroneous ones allow us an insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course... I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and the other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead lettuce. Oh, I'm happy you're happy, buddy. I'm happy you're... Oh, oh God. 
<laughs> I've become one with the rolling cart. This is my life now. What <laughs> the fuck? It won't go away. Did it finally go away? It did. <laughs> oh, shit. I am fucking st singing fish. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. Got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. Not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. Flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. Devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. You got her one of those bring me to the river, drop me in the water fish? <laughs> That's unfortunate. I can't believe this thing is stuck around my body. It just won't leave. Oh, goddamn. I'm playing fucking prop hunt now. We in prey now, boys. Maybe they'll knock it off. <laughs> hey, guys. Get... Or I can just bump into something. Thanks for the help. Anyway, I appreciate it. Oh, you got a shield. You're a shieldy boy. Buddy. You got a shotgun. That's not fair. Oh, there we go. Shoot it. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, shit. It broke. I think we have a an, an altered item. Oh, I can shoulder, sh shoulder swap. The fucking rolly cart that wants to be human. <laughs> it's an it's an OP. It wants to be human so badly. Oh shit! Oh, that was a good shot. That wasn't. Gotta expose their weak points. Alright, late. This house is clean. We did it. Look at that. That shit's so fucking crazy. God damn. Alright. Well, cool. I think, uh, yeah, I've been recording for a while now. I think this is a good place to stop it for now. Um,. We'll get the uh, we'll get the telekinesis throw because I think it's I still got a little bit to go before I get that, but or watch it be through the next door. But it's fine. It's been like an hour and fifteen minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm gonna I gotta wake my son up from his nap. Uh, anyhow, so yeah. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad to be able to play a game with a face cam again. It's been a while uh, since I've been playing through Alan Wake. I haven't been able to do this. Happy to be back, and uh, you know seeing what the new year has to offer and uh, revisiting old games and this, that, and the other, which I always like doing. And uh, we'll see what we have in store for us through 2024. For now, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next part of whichever game I play. Bye-bye. <laughs>